All right, so I'm Anthony. Uh, I'm a physician assistant, uh, a graduate of the Toronto program from 2018. Uh, what was your experience like on the job hunt as a new PA grad? It wasn't too bad. I, you know, I found that there was lots of options available. Um, PAs have the benefit of having the Career Start Grant, which is offered by the Ministry of Health. Uh, and what that is, is the uh, ministry will actually provide funding to employers, whether it's a physician or a physician group or a hospital, to be able to hire new grad PAs because there is a benefit of adding us to different areas. Um, the Career Start Grant is always a stressful experience for everyone, and that's just because everyone's in a rush to you know, get working after they finish the program. Um, most of the time, the, the, the grant does come out late, but it, you know, it hasn't failed to come out since the grant initially came out uh, many years ago. Um, my advice would be to you know, keep an open mind. Uh, you will be guaranteed a job essentially after graduation. You just might not be guaranteed to work in the specialty that you want to right away. So just be able to be flexible, work in different areas. And if it's not something that you see long-term, take it as an experience that you can bring on to different areas when, when you switch jobs later on, if you decide to switch a specialty. So in terms of references, I worked starting you know, rotation number one. Uh, if I thought the rotation went well, or it was a rotation that really applied to different areas, I'd always seek out uh, different references from that rotation um, ongoing for the whole entire second year. Uh, it's really important to do that just because uh, the more references you can obtain in different specialties will really help you later on during the application process. Um, if you do two family medicine rotations and um, you end up being applying for a family medicine job from the Career Start Grant, it's a really good idea to have those references saying you have experience with other physicians that enjoyed having you there and that you were a really big help as well too. Um, and then uh, once we heard the Start Grant was coming out, I didn't do very much uh, during that time until it was published. Once we got the PDF file of all the applications, that's when I started to make my cover letters and I made a generic one pretty much for each specialty. And then I kind of fine tuned it depending on where I was applying to, but uh, I had them prepped to go just in case it was a last minute deadline or if it was something I hadn't previously seen. Uh, what specialty did you end up uh, working as as your first job as a PA? Uh, so I ended up working in cardiology, which was my uh, final rotation actually in PA school. And they asked me to stay on after I had finished. Uh, and I said, yes, uh, they hired me on just like a lot of employers do with the stipulation that I passed the national certification exam, because you can work from when you've graduated until the certification exam occurs. Um, and it ended up working out quite well because one of the physicians in the cardiology office had to go on medical leave. So I ended up taking over his patient load and, and, uh, and his results review while he was gone. Um, so it was quite, quite an enjoyable experience and I was able to kind of that objectives and then allowing them to hire more PAs as well. And how long did you end up working there before uh, switching jobs? Um, when the physician returned, uh, I decided to start to look into other work. Um, I had a little bit of, you know, an itch on my back. I really wanted to return to the surgical field because uh, that's where most of my experience was in thoracic surgery. Um, so I think it was just the timing of when the position was posted. So there was a uh, position posted at the Ottawa Hospital for neurosurgery. And uh, with the application deadline coming up, it was kind of, you know, let this opportunity pass, but have maybe no surgical positions posted in the next year or, you know, apply and take it. So I decided to, be, to apply it and go for it. And what was that experience like working there? Uh, neurosurgery was very, very busy. Um, it was, uh, there was already a PA or two, two PA story that had been working there. Um, one from the 2017 class, and then as well as one from, uh, from my class as well too, from 2018 at Toronto. Um, so it was nice to go into an area where there were already two PAs working because you know the position is established and you know they have you know medical directives and that it's supported. Um, if you're applying somewhere that already has PAs and they're posting another position without you know being a replacement, it really shows uh, a lot of good work on the physicians to be supporting to the profession. Um, we worked in the same department, but we worked in kind of three different areas. We had different subspecialties. Uh, so I ended up working for two surgeons for uh, skull-based surgery and pituitary disorders. Uh, one of the PAs worked more in interventional neuroradiology, so with uh, strokes, aneurysms, things like that. Uh, and then the other PA uh, ended up working more in oncology. We overlapped in a lot of areas, and it was really good to have people in different specialties, subspecialties to bounce questions off of. Uh, but uh, it ended up working quite, quite well. We uh, essentially ran the outpatient clinic uh, while the physicians were in surgery. And um, I understand you are working in a new position now. So can you tell us about uh, the transition you made and how you came across this job? 
Sure. Um, so I worked with a lot of minority groups up in Thunder Bay, just given the area that it's in. Uh, Thunder Bay is a, one considered one of the larger cities up north, but it is an area where there's a lot of individuals who are, you know, of lower socioeconomic status. Um, part of, you know, the PE profession's goal is to, you know, increase access to care to areas that, you know, it's not already there. Uh, so I really wanted to bring that to Ottawa. You know, Ottawa is a big centre with lots of resources, but there are still patient groups that, you know, don't have the same access to care as everyone else or, you know, have, have been stigmatized if they don't want to access that care at all. Um, so I reached out to one of my physician colleagues uh, from when I was a clerk who works for an organization um, in downtown Ottawa that deals with, uh, you know, increasing access to care to these individuals. And I said, hey, you know, I'm looking to get into this work. Um, just looking to do it on a casual status. I was originally going to do it on top of what I was already doing in neurosurgery, but just on the side. Um, she introduced me to uh, a lady who's also a nurse who, who, who runs this program for a bunch of clinics in downtown Ottawa for addictions and uh, mental health services. And uh, as I was talking to this nurse who ran this program, and I said, hey, you know, this is, a, this is the profession. This is what we can do. This is how I think it could work in this program for you. Uh, she fell in love with the position. Um, they previously had another advanced practice provider working there, um, and they found that the PE profession was a bit more of a better fit, just in the way that we're trained. Um, so she took on me as a, as a project, and she, you know, she said, you know, I, I want you to come work for us full time. Are you able to, to come in and, and be the resource and build the profession here? And I decided to make the switch.